Welcome back everybody to the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Today's episode we're going to have a look at this Spyderco Gail Bradley 2, designed in collaboration with custom knife maker Gail Bradley, as its name would suggest. Right off the bat, it's really hard not to notice these gorgeous carbon fibre scales. I have a lot of carbon fibre in my house and garage. Everything from guitars to motorcycle parts, I've never quite felt carbon fibre that feels this way before. And it looks great too, we've got polished stainless steel liners and standoffs. One of my favourite things about this knife is that the liners sit proud to the scales. Looking at it from the side angle you can still see the liners sticking out just a little bit all around the edges. It makes just that little bit unique to all the other knives that are on offer from Spyderco and even some of the other companies. Alright, let's get to the business end of the knife. It's a beautiful shaped blade. Kind of reminds me of the old vintage CO3 Hunter. Like most of Spyderco's premium knives, this is made in Taichung, Taiwan. But surprisingly, it's made from CPM M4, which is a powder metallurgy carbon steel. So the drawbacks are that it's not a stainless, so you have to keep it very well loyaled. Even fingerprints will leave a permanent mark. But on the plus, it's very, very hard. I think it has a Rockwell hardness of 64. So you're not going to find another carbon steel out there that has a higher toughness. Yeah, there are higher ones like ZDP 189 and Maximate, but they're stainless steels, so edge retention is not going to be so great. It really is a beautiful knife, both to look at and to feel. The locking mechanism certainly is not my favourite, being a liner lock, but it engages really well at 50%, so there's plenty of room for it to work itself in. And it does come with a standard Spyderco pocket clip, which is tip up, tip down, left and right side carry. I just don't think it suits the knife, to be honest. Well, that's it for another episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to leave any comments if you wish. I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my older videos. And I'm going to catch you all next time.